everybody. Welcome, or maybe good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this. Hello, and how are you? My name is Suzanne Sukan. Because of Sukan, you can too. I am so excited, as always, to be back. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Positive TV making a difference. Woohoo! So, all right, happy birthday to all you Taurus people. It's that time of year, isn't it wonderful? Are you grounded and, and you got your grounding cord shooting down to the earth and all that good stuff? Because uh, my guest today is going to kind of give you a little zazzy matez there. It's going to make you feel like Christmas, I think, like the Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm going to get right to it. My guest today is Mr. Ed Edwards. And uh, I found Ed on, a, uh, via, um, on Facebook through a video. He was doing a demonstration of, um, of energy. And, and I'm flipping through stuff, and I saw uh, this guy. He's just standing there going like this. I'm like, what is this guy doing? Well, wait a minute. I'm feeling something here. And I just thought it was the coolest thing. So I um, <coughs> friended and fanned him and followed him. And, um, and here he is in the studio. So how awesome is that? So yay. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> Glad to be here. It's, it's, it's definitely my privilege. Because you came all the way from Georgia, right? Yes. I was, uh, well, I had to be in New York City, so, but I came from there to here last night. Wow. So was that your first time to New York City? No, this is, that was my third or fourth trip into the city. I have to go there regularly now. I'm oh. uh, being filmed in a documentary there. Oh, so you're used to it. And you drove? I, well, I drive in, drop off everything, go park my car out uh, in Connecticut, and then I tr ride the train back in, and I do everything in town. Oh, very nice. I you know. Yeah, so how so Buffalo compared to New York City, what do you think? Uh, not as packed and jammed up like New York City. You don't see much of the sky there for all the big buildings. Yeah, yeah. Know? So you got a little bit more sky view out here. You know? And it's a little bit colder, though. A little colder, But yeah. the people are warmer. Okay, great, great. <laughs> yes, I'll have to get out and meet them tonight. So welcome to all Buffalo. Right. Thank you. So let's get right to it. Now, um, what is this energy stuff? What, what? When did you discover that you had it, and then followed by what is it? Well, I've had it my whole life. My grandmother was known as a hands-on Christian healer. She uh, did laying of the hands, she read a lot of scripture, and did this my whole life. Now, when I was a little kid, when she would do it, I would start tangling all over my body when she would be doing it to people. And by the time I was, you know, four or five years old, I was playing with the energy. Uh, in preschool and stuff like that, I could sit around, make the other kids just tingle like crazy and do all kind of neat things, <laughs> you know. And got on up into, uh, by the time I was in the third grade, I'd learned how to do all kind of crazy things, like keeping the bullies from beating up on me by learning how to electrically cause their bladders to release. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know? Wow. Yeah, kind of neat things. And then on up through school, I was, I was just the class kind of comedian, but with energy. Oh my goodness. Can you like move things? I can move people. Wow. And uh, I learned to move kind of gas through people. <laughs> uh -huh. We're, going We're friends, that. right? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But uh, that was at a young age. By the time I was seven years old, I accidentally learned how to make people fart during silent prayer in church. Oh my gosh. Things like that. So I practiced that. And uh, now, Currently, I'm under study at the University of Virginia in the uh, Division of Perceptual Studies, medical research and stuff. But these scientists that study me say that because I was such a mischievous kid playing with energy, my brain wired up differently than the other kids. Everybody who, who were, like conforming, so because I wasn't conforming, I was a wild kid playing with energy, and my brain wired up differently as I matured into adulthood, operating at maximum capacity or at full capacity. And so I grew up in life and it was in science and everything, and uh, always trying to find answers, and finally got my break in 1994 uh, up out of University of Michigan, uh, Dr. William Levingood, who was a biophysics professor, and he was uh, just retiring, but he was going into biophysics from solid state physics, 
And uh, I went up and showed him what I could do, and it freaked him out. And he had equipment that'd measure it, and that started an 11 year study. Wow. Uh, wow. So, so you, did you baffle the scientists? Like, I oh my gosh, what I'd is this? I baffle them all the time. But it's, it's fun in the labs. I can go to the labs and do things, and then I've got all these big, famous scientists telling me what my brain's doing. <clears throat> so I'm learning from them how to cause more things to happen. So was this learned or inherited, do you suppose? Both. Yeah. <clears throat> I developed something I was inherited, but every one of y'all inherited it. It just got beat out of you when you were kids. Mm -hmm. Everybody should be doing what I'm doing. Uh, everybody should be able to turn on these higher brain functions and get them going because you can have a lot of fun with it or you can help a lot of people. And that's what you do today. And that's what I do today with my research and my travels. I go around the country and research at the universities and stuff. And then I go and work with people with different problems, pains. Uh, I've been working with kids, children with DIPG brain tumors. I've been working with uh, kids that get burnt, adults that get burnt. Uh, wow. <clears throat> It's just about anything that the nervous system has anything to do with, I can uh, cause an effect. Wow. Wow. Uh, that is wild. <clears throat> people with neuropathy, I can generate this energy up strong and make the neuropathy go away in about four minutes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, stroke patients, be all paralyzed up. Yeah. I can run the energy backwards through them. They'll start like this in the paralyzed limbs and they'll start coming loose after a few minutes. Oh my goodness. You know, and it just causes them to rewire into the brain. Wow, but we all have this naturally. We all have this energy naturally. Uh, through the studies on me for the last 24 years, they determined I have a, we all have a generator right back in here. Mm -hmm. And I'd learned how to make energy bounce back and forth in that generator and it produces more energy that goes up into other parts of the brain. And then consciously, I take that energy and go to different sections that I've just learned how to do, trial and error, and it causes things to happen. So how does it get <clears throat> out into, like where does it go to make it be felt distance? It seems to go up in this area of my brain. We do the brain mapping studies at UVA where they'll have me in a brain mapping helmet and, and you can look at that on my website. And the energy when I transmit it seems to be coming out of this frontal area. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when I keep it in my hands, it seems to be in the areas back here in the back. So you, if you do a distant healing, you transmit this somehow yes and it goes up into the ether and lands on uh, whoever's aware of me and it can be in the future your program is recorded here but I'm gonna do a demonstration in a few minutes that will happen in everybody that watches it over and over and over again every time they watch it can you explain how do you know how how does that happen the Physicists that study me say that when I do this energy, I'm vibrating my energy in my head that merges it with the quantum field. This Maybe we need to define <clears throat> the quantum field. Uh, well, this quantum field is like an electrical field that's all around everything. So I kind of merge with this electric field, whatever sequence is going on. Now, when I'm transmitting it, I'm talking, there's a little signal at about two hertz coming out of my audio. It gets recorded in the recording. People that listen to it in the future hear me talking, but they don't hear that little 2.2 hertz signal, but their brain hears it. Wow. And it's like tunes in their brain to this sequence of events that's going on when I made the recording. So when, if somebody was watching it with no sound, with they no wouldn't sound, get that impact? Well, I've had people get effects just by watching me. Yeah, it's just you know? it's just so crazy. That's supernatural. And it when is. it's when you don't see something, it's very difficult to comprehend it and then to believe it. Exactly. But when they hear me talking, I can make it even stronger. Wow. And stuff. It's it's being studied all over, but we don't have the answers yet. Mm-hmm. And we're just now going to be starting a six-year study at UVA 
They bought me a neuro, infrared neuroimaging helmet at $64,000. Ooh! You know, and then got one of the old system for the patients. So when they got me all wired up, we'll be watching what goes on in my head. We've done already three years study to know there's a bunch going on in my head. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to be doing studies with me working on patients with the patients all wired up and everything to see what's going on in their nervous system when I apply the energy to them, like the stroke patients or the neuropathy patients. We want to see what's happening in them now. Got it. So does <clears throat> it have, the, 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 the healing that takes effect, one of your videos you described it as kind of like, I won't be able to say it the same way you did, but it, the way I interpreted it, it was um, the whole neural bunches of spaghetti, yeah. all the lines all, and during your life as you go through events and traumas and stuff that those things get all crisscrossed, knotted yeah, up and everything. If you don't play with this energy since you should have been doing it from a kid on, your, your electrical system is just idling along. I'm running four or 500,000 times more electricity all the time through my body's electrical system because of what I do than what anybody else does. Do you have to think about it or it just is? It just is. And when I teach it, it, it just is. It comes on. I, I do it for people, then it just kind of like starts their generator. Wow, wow. And so do you have folks <coughs> that you have taught this to that they've walked away and they can they do can this do now? They can do some things, but uh, more children. <gasps> wow, that's fascinating. I can hand this to children. I before can literally, they get conditioned. Yeah, right? before they get conditioned. If you can keep it into a child before it gets beaten out of a child, they'll be able to do all kinds of things. I've been working with kids with autism, teaching them very, how to do very this. Very, very prevalent in this neck yes. of the woods. Been teaching kids with autism, and they are just like, get more cognitive responses with their parents overnight. Wow, that's you know, incredible. Once you get the kid to play and open up and start playing with the energy. Mm -hmm. And just regular kids, you get them going playing with the energy and they're just like going nuts with it now. Wow, how yeah. fun, how it fun. Is. So tag will take on another whole different meaning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yep. now, on the, the healing aspect, um, now when you do that, that you had said that all that knotted stuff kind of resets itself. It comes into alignment. Yeah, that's so cool. That does, is, so is this, <clears throat> is it just that system? Or do, well, that system kind of rules everything else, doesn't it? It rules everything else. If you can get your body's electrical nervous system working right, all the other functioning systems of the body will run smooth. Wow, do you detect issues in people? Everybody's got issues. But do you, de do you detect? I'm asking well, if you have like those medical intuit kind of things. I kind of do, but I treat everybody like they're just totally screwed up. I <laughs> can't go wrong that way. And so you just do a complete work over on their body's electrical system. Then all of a sudden things they didn't even know they had wrong or things they didn't even tell me about are corrected. Wow. Mm -hmm. How does this compare to Reiki? Um, Reiki measures out, the most they ever found was about 28,000 microamps of energy, measurable electrical energy. Okay. Now with Reiki, they do not teach you anything about controlling the electrical fields in your brain. They do not teach you how to pulse energy back and forth in the hemispheres of the brain. Mm -hmm. Okay, Reiki is just based on a idea of calming and peacefulness, kind of, but not really on electrical energy applications. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I teach people to do things, I literally teach them how to move energy back and forth in their brain to start producing measurable energy. We have equipment at the university you put your hands on, and when you start producing measurable energy, it shows up on the equipment. Wow. Reiki people get on there, oh, oh, you know, trying, nothing much happens. But when I get a hold of the thing, I can drive it all over the place. <laughs> but I can do it from a long range also. I can affect the equipment from any distance. Wow. You know, but wow. that's because I was doing it as a child, mm -hmm. as a small kid, and as I grew up and matured into adulthood, playing with this energy mischievously, it wired my brain up differently. That makes sense. Okay, now in the EEG brain mapping studies at UVA, they determined that my brain, because it wired up differently, is operating from alpha to theta all the time. People pay money to be able to get to that theta. Yes. That's a thing. Well, 
most people are just operating in one level of consciousness, alpha primarily in waking state. And they get them to meditate to try to move it a little. Mm -hmm. Well, that don't make sense to me. Why not get it all running? Now, isn't that theta yeah. just before you nod off to sleep? Mm -hmm. And so you could function on both of those. I function, and even the sleep studies they do on me. I'm in the, everything's going on from alpha to theta all the time. Do you uh, astral travel when you're sleeping? I do some things, yeah. <laughs> I have fun. That's very cool. Yeah, I won't go into detail, That's but I fine. have fun. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Yes. Can we have a demonstration? Is it a we good can. time? We can. Let's do a quick one right here. Do you Alrighty. want me to do it on the audience? Sure. Okay. Everybody in the audience, <clears throat> and I know this is pre-recorded, but if you can, stand up for me. Let him bring the camera up there a little bit. There we go. Now just stand up there and pull your feet close together. All right, I'm going to not say nothing for 20 seconds, and I'm running this energy right now. See what it does to you on your ends. So I'm just projecting this energy into the quantum field, into the quantum universe. And so as you watch this in the future anytime and stand up, it's going to feed back to you just like in real time. All right, now I'm going to pull you forwards. This should pull you up on your toes. Okay, I'm letting go and I'm reversing the polarity and I'm pushing. All right, that should be pushing you backwards a little. Now I'm going to let off. Now I'm going to send you to your right. And that should be pulling you to your right. Now I'm letting off. Now I'm going to take you back to your left. All right, that should be pulling you that away. Now I'll let off. Let you center back out. Now I'm going to spin an electrical field around everybody, and this should warm you up. You may feel a little bit there warm in here. Anything over there? A you... little bit. All right. Now that's just a quick little demonstration. Now if I'm working on people in person, I normally just work it through their feet through my hands. Do you want to try something like, I don't know if you can present it? Yeah, we'll splice it in, I think, mm -hmm. afterwards. Okay. Um, because otherwise we'll have to shift sure. our cameras around. So how cool is that? So anytime somebody comes back and watches this episode. Anytime. It's going to do about the same thing. It actually will get stronger each time they watch it because it's causing their systems, your systems, to start functioning. The more you watch it, the more your system's body's electrics will start kicking in. So it's kind of like giving it a cup of coffee for Correct. nerves. <laughs> At first, yeah, it is. Gets it woke up, gets it going. Wow, yes. wow, how cool is that? Mm-hmm. So, oh. Let's, so uh, I'm just so excited. <laughs> the, yeah. the kid thing is just fantastic. The kid thing is great. Away, so are you get, considering or, or we're putting set, together like a, a, a package of learning? We're setting up a children's awakening foundation. <gasps> How wonderful. Okay. Once we get it going, it'd be like through Zoom online webinar thing. But I've got to do a thing for the parents first. I've got to teach the parents how to be able to reel the kid in if they get a little too crazy mm. with it. Mm -hmm. And they might be down at McDonald's here and all of a sudden the milkshake machines and everything go crazy. And the kid's <laughs> over there, yeehaw! <laughs> you know, we're messing with people or something. They gotta be able to reel the kids in. Right. See, I didn't have no discipline. Mm -hmm. I grew up as a wild child. Uh-huh. Your with, parents with didn't have this energy? Grandma did, but uh, I didn't do my mischievous stuff in front of grandma uh -huh. or anybody. I always did it with my two buddies that kept putting me up to things. <laughs> you know, so I earned some pretty good nicknames through school, like Electric Eddie and Radioactive and a few <laughs> other things. 
Yep. Wow, that is fantastic. Now, mm -hmm. the, the healings that you do, um, it sticks? or it like sticks. So, so somebody doesn't have to come well, back for more? Remember, I'm not healing you. It's the energy. You're heal you, whoever I'm working on, you're doing the healing. The healing mechanisms are built in your body. All I'm doing is supplying electrical power to those systems to cause them to start functioning, except I'll put so much power in there, they may run <clears throat> up to a thousand times faster than normal. And that's safe, right? That's safe, yeah. You'll just get hot, sweaty, tingly, and feel good. And grin real big. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, it is. cool. It is. <laughs> it is. Especially if you're in a lot of pain and that pain just goes, whoo. Yeah, so people, people with fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia, right? bone cancers, all kinds of different pains, neuropathy pains. It's anything with the nervous system, the pains and all. Once I get this electricity flowing in the body, it kind of resets the circuits. Then your body starts attacking what the pain sources are. Wow. Once that starts taking place, fresh blood, energy, and all that go to the problem areas. Then the pain start going away because the problem is getting addressed and being fixed by the person's bodies. I get just got to jump start it. Just, you know, crank them up, get them running. <laughs> Once they do, they fix themselves. I mean, I've got a hold of people with Parkinson's, like that, and I can get a hold of them, start sending the juice through there, and it's just. Oh my about gosh. five minutes, I'll have them just calm right out. Wow. Now, I have to keep working with them some, but once we find the source of the problems and stuff and we can address that, then mm -hmm. it just calms them on out. Oh my goodness. I've had shaky arm people like that, uncontrollable limb movements and stuff. I'll sit down beside them and they'll just... Wow. Calm right out. It's just an electrical field around. So I keep mine cranked up all the time. But now you don't pay attention anymore. It's just there. It's just there. I have a question. Do you get tired? Does this ever drain you? Mm -mm, I'm not using really a physical, my own physical energy. I'm generating power, extra power on top of my life force energy. So you don't run out of gas? No. But you can make somebody have gas. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't make it. It's just if they have some there, I can cause them to release it. <laughs> In a funny How way. Fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a, just, as a kid, that was something fun to do. I'll bet. I'll bet. Yeah. Wow. So, um, can where can people get more information? They could go to my website. It's kind of homemade. I'm keep improving on it. At on the screen, it's uh, ededwards.com. And remember, my first name has two D's in it. E D D. Edwards.com. Okay. Awesome. And do you? Um, can people get a private healing from you? They can. No matter where they are in the no world? No matter where they're at on the planet. I have on my webpage, I have a donation button at the bottom of the page. They make a small, you know, suggested donation or whatever they feel like there. Make a donation and put in the little message box how to contact them. Phone number or Skype address. If they're outside the United States, I use Skype. If they're inside the United States, normally just a cell phone. Mm -hmm. And then I can work with you over the telephone and I can make you feel wonderful. So you don't even have to see the person? No. Just a phone call? I can work on a bunch at once. Wow, wow. Yeah, it, I don't, and I'm doing the same thing to everybody and it's not me healing you. You're gonna heal yourself, it's just gonna, me, I'm gonna charge your batteries up tune up the operating system and you fix yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can't go wrong that way, can you? No. Yeah. Wow, that, mm. that's amazing. That is just and amazing. And it works. And the fact that you're teaching this is just yeah. beautiful. I can teach adults to do self-healing and all kind of little different things. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them to transmit it like I do, mm -hmm. but I've been able to get kids to be able to send signals back and forth. Wow, that's fascinating. You know, so trying to keep them aimed just right so they don't send the wrong signals, you know, everything mm -hmm. will be fine. Well, there ain't no really wrong signals, but they might make something funny happen in the classroom. <laughs> Kids are creative. <laughs> now, I, I think um, I've got, I think, one <laughs> final question because we're starting to run out of time. Mm -hmm. um, kind of comparing to, to, to Reiki, um, because they mentioned the, the, the quantum field with that and the universal healing energy. Yeah. Um, 
is it the same field and we just use it differently or no? Well, they need to understand quantum theory when they go talking about that. So it's a different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, my stuff is not Reiki. Mm -hmm. They call my stuff, the scientists said, Ed, you're not Reiki. We've studied Reiki people here for 10 years and you ain't doing Reiki. And so they gave me my name is called bio intrinsic resonant energy because I'm resonating a measurable energy field. They can hook me up to that equipment. I can make that equipment go nuts. Go look at it on my YouTube site. You've got some great videos up there. I got some great there. videos and stuff. And when, you know, normal people get a hold of it, er, er, nothing, you know, because they're not taught how to generate electrical current in their brains. I know how to generate a measurable electrical field and I can apply that to you and that causes your healing systems to start functioning. If you were doing it with the brain you got built in there, you would never have no medical problems. Wow. Yeah. I like that idea. I bet the medical industry doesn't like that idea, but I but, sure do. Yeah, but uh, they could. Yeah. It could be integrated. I'm working with a lot of doctors teaching them how to do stuff. I'm working with surgeons. Wow, that's awesome. You know, they can work with their patients with a lot less anesthetic, anesthesia now. Yeah. Wow. You know? Wow. Wow, I love it. <laughs> We're just making breakthrough after breakthrough, and the studies are getting better and better. Yeah. yeah. I love the fact that scientists are actually... Yes, they're quantifying. Saying yes, yes, yes. yes. It's, it's, it's a real thing. And so I'm getting invited now into studies all over the place, but I've been in 24 years of clinical studies so far. Wow. You know, so I've worked in, there's no money in it much. It's just research. Mm -hmm. I get just enough to take care of my expenses. And then I go out and I do other little things, you know, by donations around. Wonderful. It covers my traveling expenses in life. Excellent. You know? All righty. That mm -hmm. is all the time we have on today's show. Wasn't that so much wow? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I hope you watched that. And he's teaching here in Buffalo for the next two days. I'm going to both to see if I can get that thing going. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much. Thank you, Ed. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Find more information at Ed Edwards with 2Gs.com. And I am Suzanne Sukin, Positive TV, Making a Difference. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you again next time, everybody. Bye. <laughs>